Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and this is the week three update to May's 30-day challenge, which for me is getting moving. Initially, I called it the sprint challenge, but that's changed a little bit, and I'll explain that in a moment. But the sprints were me getting up early in the morning, and the reason for me getting up early in the morning is not necessarily that that's part of the challenge, but it's just there's certain hours in the day that are available, and that, for me, if I'm going to fit in some exercise, it has to be first thing in the morning. And there's been some interesting payoffs to that, and I'll talk about that as well. But I digress. I get up at between 5 and 5.30, and I get out, and I stretch for a few minutes, and then I do a series of 10 sprints. 20 seconds on, so 20 seconds sprinting, and then 10 seconds of walking. And once I've done that, there's a minute of cool down. And this week was an interesting week. So on Monday, well, here, I'll show you. Day 17, where is it? Right back there. That's the record. I just passed the record. Whew. So that had me pretty stoked. And then came Tuesday. Okay, day 18, that was my worst run, I think, of the month. Legs not feeling good. Probably came up a full tenth or more of a mile short of my average and it occurred to me that I may need to start either taking days off from sprinting still doing the walking but taking the days off from sprinting to recover or making sure that I'm timing them in a way that they're not after a leg workout day I think that may have had something to do with it I did squats yesterday and uh <clears throat> and I think there's probably a correlation there. So, I don't know. This is an ongoing experiment. Another one in the bag. So I've decided for this next week, I'm going to time my sprints to the three days a week that are after a rest day in terms of lifting weights. So I do a, sort of a push-pull routine four days a week. And that means that there are leg exercises on four days a week. So I've either got squats or I've got uh, deadlifts and calf extensions. So I will now be doing just sprints on Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So we'll see how that works out. And um, if I see any correlation between leg workouts and how well my sprints go. Another interesting thing that's happening and this is going to be TMI. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to put a timestamp right here, and then I'm going to put one once I'm done talking about it. So you can skip this if you want to avoid the TMI. There is a thing that I'm experiencing, and I looked it up. It's called runner's hematuria. What it is, and it was pretty scary, uh, the first time, which is I got done running and I had to go to the bathroom and my urine was bloody. So, uh, you know, panic and got out onto the internet and found out that it's actually a fairly regular occurrence with runners. It tends to be something more in terms of long distance running, but any sort of a, a trauma or you know high impact sort of movement can can cause this it could actually be caused by you know regular stressful exercise as well interestingly i don't experience it when i'm lifting and i lift to failure and i don't experience it just from going out and walking four miles so it's specific to the days that i'm sprinting and it's only the first time that i go to the bathroom after sprinting that it occurs I have read that if you go 72 hours or, you know, maybe a slightly longer period of time without doing strenuous, you know, running, that, that it goes away. So I may just decide to take some time off. I'm not sure. If, if this does continue, I will see a doctor just to see if there's any, anything additional going on, whether it's bladder or prostate or, or kidneys. But there is a definite correlation between sprint days and when this occurs. So... I'll keep you up to date on that end of TMI. So I've mentioned before the whole getting up early thing. This is going to be, regardless of, of what I decide to do in terms of sprints, the getting up early thing is going to be something I keep doing. 
it is really pretty cool just how productive you can be in the couple of hours before the rest of your family even gets out of bed. Whether you're out running or walking or whatever, but going out and, and walking at this time of the morning, I just, I love it. It is so great. Just, it's, it's a different world out there. You see different things. You smell different things. It's, it's really neat. And that's why last week I put forth the challenge that over the course of this week, I wanted you to go out and see what you could see out in nature if you're out doing a get moving challenge outside and let me know what you see. So you can let me know down in the comments below what you've seen so far. I've, uh, I've seen a few interesting things. This neighborhood, it's, it's interesting. There are portions of, of my neighborhood that are fairly old and there are portions of my neighborhood that are pretty new, like, you know, within the last 10 years. Our house has been here for 25 years, but it's still interesting, some of the wildlife that you can see just walking around through the neighborhood. I came across some wild turkey. That, that was kind of wild. I've seen turkey in our neighborhoods a few times. There's also a new park that has a half mile, is it a half mile? Yeah, it's a half mile walking trail that, that goes around it. And I see a lot of red wing blackbirds. I mean, a ton of them. There are just, there are so many. And I think they're, they're a very beautiful bird. Also, this morning, saw a duck. So that's kind of cool. In the past, I've seen cranes, unless the plural of that is crane, whatever the long-legged bird plural is called. I've seen those and a lot of deer, but I haven't seen any deer yet this year. So let me know. Have you seen any interesting wildlife or, or anything like that? That would be cool to know. The other little game that I've been playing, as I said, there are portions of my neighborhood that are older and portions that are newer, is as I'm walking, I will look at the concrete stamps on the sidewalk. So whenever sidewalk is laid down, at least around here, they, they stamp it, the company that whoever laid the concrete, as well as the date. And it's interesting to see, you know, both in terms of repaired sidewalk, new neighborhood sidewalk, and original sidewalk, some of the dates. I think the oldest that I've seen is 1990, but sometimes it's hard to see because they're just, they've been worn down by erosion. So that's a little game that I've been playing. In terms of biometrics, nothing interesting really to report. Uh, in terms of blood pressure or sleep or anything like that. That's been all pretty consistent. Weight is up, uh, you know, a little over a pound since the beginning of the month. But that's, I think, within just standard deviation that you would expect to see. However, body fat continues to trend down and muscle mass continues to trend up. So I would consider that a pretty good biometric marker for this month. And, uh, I think that's going to be it for me. So now it's your turn. Besides anything that you've seen that's been interesting out on your walks, let me know. Um, if you've noticed anything, biometrics, things on the scale, body fat, whatever, let me know. And if you're doing something else for your get moving or your challenge in general for May, I'd be curious to hear about that. So for all of those things, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, with that, we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.